Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about uh, this from Daily Mail. Moment Portland City Commissioner who demanded 18 million dollar police budget cuts and said most 911 calls are unnecessary calls cops on her left driving in an argument about open windows. Welcome, welcome to another self-awareness being a zero from the Democrats. Welcome to another absolute fucking hypocrite. Do these people... How can they live their lives with zero self-awareness? I could not. Even I make jokes about myself. Look, I have even a spot with a skin problem over here. It's actually bothering me to no end. And I look like somebody with um, a third eye thing you from Hindus or Buddhists or whatever. Even though I'm not either one of them. But no, this one has zero, zero self-awareness. No, not only she wants the police to be defunded, she calls the police and makes an unnecessary 911 call. And not even that. Yeah, she's one of those groups who actually believe love the science. And, uh, then, and then go on and say that uh, people should close their windows or um, because of uh, regulations in related to closed spaces and having the windows open to avoid uh, some sort of contagion. And, uh, it's like rules for thee, but uh, definitely not for my pretty beautiful ass. That's what you're doing. Holy shit, people. Portland Commissioner Joe Ann Hardesty let me just advise, when you see the picture, her picture, she is absolutely unfuckable. She is one of those things that you actually wonder, is that a male or a female? Call cops on her, <clears throat> on her Lyft driver, Richmond Frost, after he cancelled her ride on November 1st. She refused to leave the vehicle until he called another ride and, she, as she said, she felt unsafe. Hmm, I wonder why? Why would you feel unsafe? Don't you want uh, to uh, to defund the police? Because that will definitely cause that. She felt unsafe after he couldn't go. Frost claims he cancelled the ride after a run in over where Hardesty was being picked up and after she was angry about leaving the windows down. He also called 911 three minutes after she did and said she wouldn't leave the car after he dropped her at a car station. Hardesty had a new ride by the time officers arrived. The commission had called for 18 million in cuts on P Portland's police department and has said most 911 calls are unnecessary. Wonderful, isn't it? So this is the dude, oh, sorry, my apologies, her. Who called this? Uh, uh, the summary is pretty much this. Uh, I read another article about it, and obviously Daily Mail is going to go about this, but she called the Lyft driver, he picked her up, she started to be pretty, um, pretty, I don't know, conflicty. She wanted a conflict with the driver, but um, he kept their windows down, he told her about the policy of the company and the rules about the confined spaces in his vehicle and she kept complaining and complaining and well let's go on let's see who the portland 911 picked up the, from milani casino washington when they, oh and before he picked her up he had a problem in trying to find her because the pin on his app about the from the lift driver told him in one position while she was in another he even showed that to her she was not satisfied she was exceptionally angry at the driver okay uh publish on the later revealing the version of events i'm not going to allow him to leave me on the side of the road let's see if the this makes a better so Marie was angry, the driver refused to roll the follow with the annoyance and mix up where she was being picked up, accommodating the driver, cancelling the ride, and saying Hardesty would find another car. He attempted to leave the commissioner at the Chevron gas station, but which apparently, according to him, was lit up more than a Christmas tree. But she refused to leave the vehicle and place the calls to the cops. Frost also made 911 calls and reference were forced to arrive at the gas station shortly before 10 p.m. In spite of the fact Hardesty has argued that many 911 calls are unnecessary and the police response often not needed according to Portland Tribune. Another thing, the driver who picked her up didn't even know who she was. Only after a while did he realize who she was. 
because he is a professional. He treated her equally, like equally, as in like every single person he picks up, every single client. Uh, oh, and there's no crimes involved. Let's see. Uh, she could have any weapons in her hand. He replied, I doubt it. I don't call anyone lightly, but I said we're not going to do anything or put my personal safety. She told. Uh, Look at this. this. This is disgusting. Why? The hypocrisy, the absolute lack of self awareness. I want to be in charge of the Portland Police Bureau so I can enact this vision. I put my expertise and resume up against anyone on this issue. In the coming days, I will be explaining how I arrive at the conclusion that the best way to get there is by direct is by being directly in charge of Portland Police Bureau. You are putting your community in danger, you are putting my staff in danger, we need you to do better. We need you to stop denying the violence being perpetrated by your, by your own police force. Hmm, coming from somebody who actually has zero self-awareness, who demands that the police serve her, and doesn't want the rules to apply to her, and still wants them defunded. Congratulations. She has been pushing to reallocate 18 million from the Portland Police Bureau to reinvest in community and um, Wuhan virus relief and police alternatives, but the amendment was not passed by Portland City Council last week. Thank you for at least standing upon um, that uh, logic. Ah, fuck's sake. In June, we started this journey by reallocating 15 million from Police Bureau and Real OK. So basically, Daily Mail didn't quite cover what. Um, what I read in the other article, but it, uh, it did give you a general idea of what was happening and the hypocrisy of the person. This is uh, this is pretty much on par on every single person who demands the police to be defunded. They actually do this. They have zero self-awareness. I debated with somebody who who is into defunding the police. Does he have the self-awareness when it will happen to him eventually? Obviously, he will not see it, because he absolutely wants the police to be defunded. I, I'm pretty much on the camp that the police needs more funds. In fact, I live in a shithole, even despite the police here being as corrupt as fuck, even more corrupt than the Democrats in America, I still want them to, be, uh, to have more funds. Because the police here, uh, they don't have the training, they don't have the equipment, they have the... Psh, fuck! Even until recently, the, even the vehicles around the local police station couldn't even be used because of lack of fuel. They couldn't even refuel their vehicles due to lack of funding. That's how bad it gets. And what do they do? What do they do? No, 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 no. Uh, we are going to be safer with less police in the force. Uh, in the world. Are you shitting me? Look, I, I even got a police officer, corrupt po police officers wanting to steal my vehicle with a, with a gun pointing at my face. Thankfully, they got called on by another dispatch officer. Uh, but still, even I still want more funds to the police. But no, 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 people who live in America, who is pretty much uh, people living on the most privileged country in the world with one of the best police officers in the world wants this. Are you shitting me? This is what I called privilege nobodies. These people, these people should experience what it's like living in a shithole country first. Like, I don't know, Liberia? I don't know, uh, some Latin American shithole? I don't know, try Venezuela, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, or I do not know, Ecuador, or whatever shithole you prefer. But no, 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 no. No, they they, uh, they want to show their privileged little ass in America and do this. What I wouldn't give to be in her position. I'll give my leg or a kidney for this. But no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She prefers to call the police, have zero self-awareness and demand defunding. And then complain and fight against the Richmond, against Richmond Frost, which is the driver for the left up and he was doing his job following company policy 
These people irritate me to no end. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And obviously hit the notification bell because, quite frankly, you want me to rant more and bring you more stupidity that happens around the world. Because you're a masochist and you want more. So, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Good night.